Thank you for checking out this no spoiler show review. Uh, this is for the television show that actually has two seasons at the moment on Netflix called Mind Hunter. It's a David Fincher show, and um, up front, I might not sound normal. Uh, I'm kind of battling something right now, so if my energy level is a little bit lower, I apologize. If my voice sounding kind of weird, I apologize. Also, if I need to like stop and like just now like swallow some leakage that's coming out of my head i know that's really nasty so i'm sorry but uh let's talk about mindhunter a little bit so i just finished the second season of mindhunter i watched the first season not long after it originally came out i think it was last year 2018 maybe in 2017 technically but um I'm a person who's into true crime. This is a show that I would definitely recommend for people who find true crime stories and procedurals and stuff like that interesting. Um, so yeah. Um, so I'm going to talk about this a little bit, my feelings on it overall, but I don't have my notes like I usually do for movies. I don't, I don't do that for shows because it's a long time. Like there are many, many episodes. It's much easier to just do like one movie that's like an hour and a half, two hours versus like app. 10 hours or something so i'm just gonna go with what i got um if you feel like i'm missing something that you want to hear about it or you want to say about it go ahead and put it down in the comments and um also i'd just like to hear what you have to say about mine hunter whether you've seen it or not your feelings so like i said this is this is good for people who are into true crime i am into true crime um I, you know i don't want to necessarily say into true true true, true crime maybe kind of curious about true crime fascinated by true crime because uh, I feel like it's important to kind of draw a distinction of like a fandom around terrible things like murders versus having like not understanding it and kind of wanting to understand more. Like where I come from with my interest in true crime has to do with I just can't wrap my head around what makes people this way. And for that reason, Mindhunter in particular is a great show for people like me who who feel that way because – it's, I mean, everyone knows this if, if you've kind of seen the trailer for it. It's basically about in the 70s, I believe it was in the, yeah, in the 70s when the FBI started to kind of look at profiling killers. Uh, it's, I think it kind of started as just um, particularly violent killers, and then they kind of started specifically focusing on serial killers, and they actually coined the term serial killer, and that's kind of where this came from. So it's, it's going back and following that, so it's based in reality, but the problem with these types of f films and shows is you don't really know how much is real and how much is fictionalized just for story. So it's kind of hard um, watching this to know what's real and what's not. So when I watch it, I watch it more as just like an entertainment nonfiction thing, knowing that there are just elements of fiction or of nonfiction to it. So... Um, yeah, that's just kind of how I watch it. Now, it looks really good. Uh, it's it's shot extremely well. It's directed extreme, extremely well. David Fincher is really great at what he does. Um, people know him from, like, you know, I believe he did Fight Club and Seven. You know, it, he has a particular look, and that look is in Mindhunter as well. Like, it's, it's muted colors. It, it's very dark. It's very kind of grim, and it makes sense for the material that's at play here the actors do a really good job i think everyone I, I don't think there's like anyone involved in either of the seasons who i was just like ooh, that acting's kind of rough they did a great job the other thing is when they are doing interviews with um serial killers in this in in jail they did a really good job of getting people who could act like them but also getting the um the special effects uh to and costuming to really make them look like them it's actually very crazy and kind of jarring to see that. Um, so the writing is really good. The it, it's kind of hard because a lot of people who aren't already into true crime might not like this because it's just it's a lot of dialogue. It's a lot of talking. There's not a whole lot of action. Although there are some like crime scene um, investigations that go on. It's not a ton. Uh, it's mainly about you know them talking to these killers and trying to create profiles for what makes up a serial killer. Why do people kill? Like, how, how can we take this information and then apply it to solving open cases and identifying when it's not just, uh, you know, one person murdered here, one person murdered here, but it's actually a serial situation where they're all related. And I think that's like them putting the information together really starts in season one. Season two, you see a lot more of them really putting it into practice 
and uh, there's a really um, uh, it's been kind of covered in the media more lately. A case in particular, I'm not gonna you know spill the beans on it. That's heavily heavily done in season two. They actually have entire episodes, uh, multiple entire episodes, just um, geared towards that one case. And it has these characters kind of getting involved in that. Now, that's one of those things where I was talking about, like, I don't know if in real life these people were involved in that. I don't even know if in real life these characters are even real to who was there. Was it more than that? I know a lot of the times, uh, for movie's sake, they'll take situations where it's a lot more people involved. And then they just kind of pare it down into, like, one or two characters. So, like, those two characters, one or two characters, are actually representing a myriad people. Um, kind of like in Chernobyl, that was the case. Uh, if anyone saw the HBO show Chernobyl, sorry, I got to adjust. But um, yeah, I mean, I think it's it it plays as realistic. There's nothing that goes on that you're just like, ooh, that took me out of it. That doesn't seem you know doable or accurate. Um, but the story stays engaging, in my opinion. If you're okay with mainly just dialogue, like I was saying, uh, each individual person has their own kind of stuff going on too. So it's kind of like side stories, which is good for actual character development, makes you care more about these people who are involved. Although I will say there's one character that's that's more involved in season one than two, and their involvement in season two, I was just kind of like, it kind of feels like they shouldn't even be there. And, it's, and it kind of feels like they should have tried a little bit harder to tie that person into the season a lot more because it, it just makes you feel like they're just going to get rid of them at some point. Not like, you know, they're going to die or anything like that, but just like, they're, they're just like, they feel like this character's not interesting anymore to them, at least the writers. And they're just kind of like, eh, let's just, you know, we'll bring them in a little bit here or there and, you know, maybe we'll just phase this person out at some point. Which sucks because it's a good character and the character's um, pretty important in season one, I think. And I kind of just want to see more involvement in season two. So, I don't know. Um, it's disturbing for some people. For some people not, especially if you're used to true, true crime stuff. Uh, it can get very, very disturbing. It's, they do a really good job of keeping tension in the show. And part of that comes from the soundtrack. The score to it is really good. A lot of the music at key times is extremely creepy. And um, I find that a lot with Fincher stuff. He does a really, really good job with that. And um, it's extremely effective in the show. Extremely effective. Like, honestly, with some of this music, if, if I wasn't even watching any, anything and I was just listening to it, I would still feel like this is creepy. Like, it's, it's very well done. Very, very well done. So... Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's kind of all I have to say about this show because I don't want to get too much into things because, like I said, you know, no spoilers. I would encourage people who are interested in true crime or are just a little bit curious to go ahead and just check out the show. Don't just do, like, one or two episodes or anything. And the other thing is maybe just give it the whole first season and start the second season because with a lot of shows, it's much slower in the beginning. They have to establish kind of the world it's it's set in the storyline that they're trying to go for, and the characters themselves, so it, it's slower. Um, that said, I do think the second season picks up more. It is more engaging than the first season, and it just kind of holds to what I was just saying. Is You know, they just had to set a bunch of stuff up in the first season. Uh, the other thing I want to say real quick is I read an article that was saying that David Fincher has stated that there are supposed to be five total seasons, I believe, of uh, this show. So hopefully that's accurate. Hopefully it, do it doesn't hit the Netflix chopping block because I know there are a lot of people who are into the show, but for some reason they've just kind of been chopping a lot of their shows. I don't know. I don't get it. But anyway, um, really interesting. So like I said, let's put some comments down, down there. If you have seen this, I really want to hear from you what your thoughts on the show are. I haven't really heard any negative opinions on this show from, well, okay, maybe just a few people who are just like, oh, I feel like I couldn't get into it. I stopped after the first episode or the second episode and it was just because of you know like i was saying the slowness they have to establish things and it's like stick with it good things come to those who wait it's that type of thing but um yeah let's talk about that your feelings do you like it do you not like it um are you interested to see more seasons where do you hope it goes uh what's your interest level for more seasons um 
when you say when you give like an actual number of seasons it's kind of great because it, it gives people this hope of like oh man there's more to come that's awesome like i know i can rely on you know seeing more of the show and i'm excited but then at the same time it gives you a finite end so that you know maybe when you hit like season four you're like oh no there's only one more season or when you're on season five you're like i know this is going to be it and that just sucks so eh, you know sometimes it's better to just go sometimes it's better to just let people know ahead of time i don't know your opinions on that too if you want do me a quick favor, hit that subscribe for me. It can help me out a lot. It really encourages me to keep these videos going too. Uh, you can do the thumbs up, but the important thing is the subscribe. So thank you very much for just checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.